Hello, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. We are just moments away from kickoff, and we've got a good one on tap between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. The coach, as you know, being over in Orlando, still a bit warm here in Florida, but really all things considered, a wonderful fall afternoon for football here in Tampa at Raymond James Stadium. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at this Buccaneer ball club. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for the Bengals here, it's been a great start to the season. Back-to-back -back wins to begin the campaign. Yeah, you don't want to get too excited. It's an Indian summer afternoon. Perfect conditions for football, and off we go on EA Sports. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And look at this. Right away, a loose football. And he will score. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Now watch one, watch one. Under team, under team, team. Shedding the tackle. And oh, he caught it up, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Involved goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. Lead instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. On second and 12, Winston on the screen. This is Eckler. Room to run past midfield. A big pick up there, 18 yards. When guys come out of the locker room, especially those fast rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can... And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. Another try after the first down sack. Winston, he'll get this to Eckler. Now he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. And a peek now at the offense for Tampa Bay. And the play of this offensive line is going to be so important. In this. And being physical is vital. Otherwise, this could be a long game. Third and long for Winston. He's got Evans. And they're able to work this to the 25. Offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production. But I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And the staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. On second down, Eckler. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. A look there at the defensive starters for Cincinnati. They were excellent a week ago in the win over Pittsburgh. Now decide that I can't throw the ball against this team and try and run it like crazy, or do you challenge them? This is going to be fun. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB... They want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. On first down, Kendall. This one grabbed by A.J. Green. The former second-round pick, this is Joe Mixon. And he'll get it out near the 40. Operating from the gun, Kendall. That's complete to John Ross. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Big stop, Big stop. Let's go. Now Joe Mixon. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And all the way in 
for a Cincinnati score. Joe Mixon. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. We're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure. Now Eckler. Running the ball. You're not going to have much success against him and his team. Or, yeah, you better find a way to go around J.J. Watt, which isn't easy to do. It's really not because you got to try everything. Can you go around him? Can you go by him? Can you influence him to get him out of position? And he's a perfect five for five here to begin the game. That's complete to his receiver, Gadwin. No gain there. They're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. And they're left looking at third and eight after the second down pass play only went for two. Again, it's Winston. And this is caught by Evans. Mike Evans, he's going to go. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Here now the offense for the Bengals. At the backfield is Joe Mixon, and he was a valuable commodity. On second down, here's Mixon. He'll have a first down past the 40. And... Call it a gain of four. Let's go, D. Watch tight end. Watch tight end. Tight end's right. Tight end's right. Looking to throw on second down. Kendall, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Throwing on third and long. Kendall, flush to his right. Open man is Ross, complete. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. sees him as confident, continue to try and up his game, that will do more to elevate a team than anything else. See if he has that confidence. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And he gets it down to the 32. How about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. If he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think... They'll throw again. Winston. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Miles Jack. He's got a convoy, and he might be gone. Pass the 20. 10, and he will bring it back. It's a pick six for a Bengals TD. Good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one, that didn't bother you too much last night. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The sack there by J.J. Watt. They run the counter. It's Freeman. He'll rumble for about six up across the 20. The Bucks on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is going to be third and 13. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted. And he'll give it here to his running back. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Throwing on first down. Kendall. And the coverage terrific there. Off the bootleg. Kendall rolling to his right. Open man is Uzama. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Mixon with a first down carry. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9. To throw on second down. Kendall. That's going to be caught by Ross for a Bengal touchdown. Touchdown! 
I have to do even more or I need to play better, maybe even say I put my defense in a bad spot. That's what true leadership shows you. Yeah, well, he doesn't need to change much. Jameis to throw it. And this one incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. On third down, here's Eckler. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the except the first. Now Winston. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Now Winston. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Now, the last completion actually lost a yard, so now they'll need to convert on third down. To throw, Winston. He finds his target. It's Evans. He works it past the 50. Winston. And that is incomplete. To the air again with Winston. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Jameis now closing in on a 200-yard first half through the air. It's first and 10. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeout. Jameis again. And that one was nearly picked. It seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. On first and 10, Kendall airing one out for Boyd. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Off play action. Kendall. And the catch good. It's Eifert. Check 59. Mike. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. The kick by McManus is good. After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. Come on, fellas. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you a stone throw away across I-4 to Orlando, they're standing by as Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Time to give you folks at home a look around the NFL on this first official weekend of fall. So let's get to it. We'll begin with a black and blue matchup. Bring your lunch pail for this one. Pittsburgh playing host to Baltimore. And it's the Ravens out in front as that game moves towards halftime. Jordan Howard has found the end zone twice. Two touchdowns for him. From there, we head to the Big Easy to check on the Saints at home in the Superdome. And they trail in their ball game at halftime to the visiting Carolina Panthers. The Panthers looking to sew that one up, and they look to be in pretty good shape. Finally, let's get down to Miami to see what's going on with the Dolphins. And that one all even as they play the visiting Cleveland Browns. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back and forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. The Bengals set to receive. They have the lead and the football to begin quarter number three. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee. They'll start the third quarter here on the ground. Looking to throw on second down. Kendall, man open. That's Marquez Valdez Scantling. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. On first down, Mixon. He had a great move, but he'll still be stopped. Sh to throw on second down. Kendall got his man. It's Eifert. 
They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. There. On first down, Kimball. Caught Eifert over the middle. And he is tacked. Off the play fake, Kendall. And this will be incomplete. On second down now, Mixon. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. Off play action, Kendall. Got an open man, it's Valdez Scantling. From the gun, Kendall. And it's caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line. They go back to the ground now with Mixon. And he is in. Touchdown, Bengals. Joe Mixon. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. Get in the weight room. Let him go. Here's Winston. He rifles one that's intercepted. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks him. They'll run on first down. Mixon. And taking it to the 15-yard line. Two times, two times. Hey, hey, hey. We got three. We got three. Three down. Three down. Go. Throwing on first down. Kendall. He completes it to Boyd. And looking to throw. Kendall. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. An offensive coordinator and his and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustment. Uh, you think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. Once more, here's Eckler. And he's got it past the third. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones are Always think to themselves, just hang in there. Despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration. From the gun, Winston. That's caught by Howard. You know, when I was calling college football, I saw a game that you know, team put 70. I actually saw it happen twice. A team put 70 on their opponent. And in the NFL in the 2017 season, I saw one of those changing of the guard games where a team that hadn't been very good before now was dominating and kicking around a team who had been ruling their division. And that's when you earn your paycheck. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Now a handoff here to his running back. Looking to throw on second down. Kendall, he'll find his running back, Joe Mixon. The catch and run pays off. On first down, Mixon. Credit him with a one-yard gain. Again, it's Mixon. Two runs in a row, but only two. On third down, Kendall. That's going to be caught by Ross for a Bengal touchdown. And give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field in this yeah. shot. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Here's Winston. Yeah, a quick throw here. That's complete. The Bucks on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This is third and four. Working out of the gun. Winston. And he's got a man. It's the tight end Howard complete. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Winston. And that's incomplete. He's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense that's well-coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure. The Bucks on third down. They're hitting at 60%. Six out of ten thus far. This is third and four. Winston now. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Winston now. A perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. Again, it's Winston. And oh, Jameis intercepted a third time. 
Picked off at the 39. The 20. 10. And he will score. Touchdown, Cincinnati. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this run. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Throwing again on second down. Winston, quick hitter here, it's complete. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. Those signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. To throw is Winston. They'll throw again, Winston. He's just gonna dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up any... Nowhere to escape and he goes down. Yet on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. This is caught. And he's across for the touchdown. Too little, too late. But he does get in. We got a plane to catch. And they'll indeed take a knee. But Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Bengals, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again.